I love this play. This has been my life. And so it's going to be very, very odd, I think, for all of us. Um, because I don't know what my day-to-day -day life consists of without you. That was Daniel Radcliffe's final speech on his last day of filming for Harry Potter. Daniel couldn't help but cry. Everybody cried that day. Let's take heart and see what it was like for the cast to end one of the world's biggest ever franchises. People's last days and... I'm just like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, it's just happening. And let's also find out what scenes and lines the cast enjoyed the most. I can touch you now. That's my favorite line. <laughs> These are the very last shots they filmed on the Harry Potter set. <laughs> yes, it's from the Deathly Hollows Part 1. You probably thought the last scene they filmed was, um, well, let's say a different one like the movie's actual last scene, right? But anyway, let's take a look at what the final shooting day looked like on set. Came in and, and did a day's work, and then it sort of all ended. It was very strange the last day. Hey, Jack. Uh, very good. Yep, basically, Daniel, Rupert, and Emma were jumping on a giant pillow over and over again. Feels insignificant, right? Well, that made the last day of filming kind of weird and surreal. I feel like I've blocked out the memory because it's almost it was almost like too much. Indeed it was. Right after the director said cut, the crew gathered for the rap party, where they watched a nostalgic clip with some fun and touching behind the scenes moments from the movies. The gang grew up together. They shared their brightest and saddest moments together. They became a family. During that event, all the cast members had the unique opportunity of being able to say their final words to the Harry Potter team. I think for all of us, um, because I don't know what my day-to-day -day life consists of without you, all of you, and it's wonderful. I just want to say that um, I've loved every minute in it, and thank you all very, very much. What a speech! At that moment, the legendary trio truly realized that they'd spent most of their lives together, and that that time was really over. When Rupert was asked later what he was going to miss the most, his answer was simply brilliant. I don't know, just, just every, everyone really, the people, this place at least, and uh, maybe just being Ron as well. Yeah, going to miss kind of playing Ron. The only thing Daniel, Rupert, and Emma were left with were their bittersweet memories. And of course, great gratitude. I just feel so blessed that I was chosen. I was, I was given the chance to experience all of this and have this be part of my life. We were the chosen one, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were. Sure you were. The end of the franchise was not only emotional, but also super challenging. For Emma, there was a filming day near the end of the production that she called her worst shooting experience ever. We're talking about the scene where Harry, Ron, and Hermione escape Gringotts atop a dragon and jump into the lake. I say we jump! When? Now! But what was so wrong about it? I think it was January or February, the lake wasn't heated, and because we had to get changed as part of the next scene, we couldn't wear anything underneath. Brrr. Emma shared that she had a bit of a better experience than Daniel and Rupert, since she was allowed to at least wear some thermals. It was so cold. I think Rupert thought at one point that his heart had stopped beating. I hate being cold more than anything, so that was my most memorable day. Now, what about the rest of the cast? How were their last filming days? Let's just say there was at least one actor who was kind of happy things finally ended for him. Robbie Coltrane, finest gamekeeper in Hogwarts, last day on Harry Potter. Yes, we're talking about Robbie Coltrane, and why he was so glad was due to his fake beard and mustache. Yeah, Coltrane was kind of sick of spending hours in a makeup chair. It's all horrible, he commented briefly. But of course, he was just kidding. Being a part of the Wizarding World is the biggest reward ever. And there were at least two actors who were kind of disappointed on their final day. The first one is Tom Felton. Things just ended too fast for the actor. I was expecting this big emotional breakdown. But instead, the first assistant director got out the microphone and listed the names of people who it was their last day and forced the crew for a ripple of applause. And then we walked off and that was it. Yep, just like that. Matthew Lewis had a pretty similar disappointment. His last day on set was during the making of this scene. Unfortunately, the second unit were going on until about four in the morning, Matthew remembered. So as soon as I finished at about one, they just said, that's Matt's last day. Okay, very good, move on. 
It was a bit of an anti-climax, really. Aww, we bet it was. But Matthew also shared the life-changing experience that happened to him on Alan Rickman's last filming day. That is Alan and David Thewlis' last day on Harry Potter. Here is what happened. Lewis went to Rickman's trailer to say goodbye. He was terrified to knock at first, cause you know, Rickman was such a giant superstar to the young, shy actor. And so when he dared to knock on the door and Rickman opened, Lewis said, I just wanna say thank you for allowing me to work with you for 10 years and not ever shouting at me or, or you know, treating any of us anything less than your equal. Do you know what Mr. Rickman replied? He said, come on in. Then he put the kettle on and had a cup of tea with Lewis, and they chatted about what the young actor was going to do in his career. And then Mr. Rickman gave him some secret acting recommendations. Wow, wasn't Alan Rickman just the best? Then, knowing how uncertain Lewis was at his age, Rickman added, You can do it. He said that to me, those are his words. He says, you know, you, you can do it. What a gentle human being he was. At the beginning of the video, we promised you'd be dive into the cast's favorite lines from all the Harry Potter movies. So get ready to laugh out loud from what the guys revealed on their last Deathly Hollows press conference. Like, can you guess which line of Hermione's Emma Watson enjoyed the most? Here it is. My favorite line is, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed, or worse, expelled. <laughs> Admit it, that is the most Hermione-ish line ever. And it's also sweet that Rupert Grin still remembers his iconic answer. She needs to sort her priorities. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Moving on to Matt Lewis's favorite line, which, by the way, also describes his character at his best. I think it was just a line that really, for, for 10 years, really summed up Neville. And it was in number two. And it was just when he's hanging from the chandelier and he says, Why is it always me? Priceless. We think you can also guess Ivana Lynch's favorite line. It's just so iconic. You're just as sane as I am. Now, we don't think that you will ever guess Robbie Coltrane's beloved quote. You're Harry Potter. You're the one who got away from... you know who. <laughs> and same goes for Julie Walter, who played Molly Weasley. Not my daughter, you bitch. <laughs> so badass. What about Rafe Fiennes, AKA the Dark Lord? This man couldn't help but have a little fun at the press conference. I can touch you now. <laughs> yep, that's what the dirty-minded actors shared. But of course, he meant this scene from the Goblet of Fire. I can touch you now. And there's absolutely nothing dirty about it. But perhaps the most unexpected favorite line is the one that Jason Isaacs shared. He remembered the scene from the Chamber of Secrets where Lucius Malfoy confronted Harry outside Dumbledore's office. And in particular, Malfoy's last words before he leaves the room. Which, by the way, were unscripted. Mr. Potter will always be a rock to save the day. And Daniel Radcliffe's brilliant response was unscripted, too. Don't worry. I will wait. Pretty smart response for a teenager, right? Do you want to know more about Harry Potter? Check out our video about the very first filming day, too. Thanks for staying with us, and take care, folks.